of you to drop in and just in time for a song. Burgling down the big gates, watch the knights of Fincade, all the light as it smothers the sun. I can tell by the moon you'll be joining me soon as a guest in my fortress of fun. And I can't wait to see you and once again free you, release from your humorous air. Someday I will replace that big frown on your face with a smile and a murderous glare. We are two of a kind, violent, unsound. What is up, all you comic book fans? This is a comic book villain coming to you with another comic book haul. This is my 90. 93rd uh, comic book haul uh, for December 4th, uh, 2017. Um, it's going to be a, a real small one. Um, I think if y'all saw my last video, y'all know um, UPS had the... Uh, all the comic shops here in South Texas had some issues with the UPS truck being delayed, wreck, or something. I don't know what the whole excuse was. Well, anyway, y'all know the first video I did, there was only one store in town that got their books, so I only got, I only picked up like 12 or 15 books, and of course, the other location where I have my sub box at, he didn't get any, uh, he didn't get his delivery till Thursday, so I showed up Friday morning when it opened, and uh, when I showed up over there, then he told me he only got half of his order. So I only got to pick up a little bit of books, which I picked them up on Friday, and then I just said I'll go later. So I still have I have about four books that I didn't pick up from last week that I'll just pick them up this Wednesday because they're in my box anyway. But what he did have for me um, was these two that I picked up. So like I said, but I did pick up some other some other books um, uh, yesterday on Sunday. Um, like I said, I I think I told some of y'all I work at the, there's this place that we have me and my buddy. We do custom ARs, and there's a comic book shop around the corner from uh, from us. So, yeah, you know, whenever it closes, we close down early, which we did. We closed early yesterday, and uh, I went over there, and um, I looked at books that he had. He had some real good sales. So I, was, I wanted more books, but I know I have a lot of books to pick up. And I know I said in my last video or one of my other videos, I said that I'm going to start doing a lot more uh, older books because like, I know right now most of my most of my hauls like 98% of my hauls are all new books uh, because I'm picking up everything that comes out you know uh, but like I said I'm gonna start going after some of the older books as well which like I did because this guy that's there down from our from our shop where he's at he deals in he deals in pretty much nothing but old and high-end books and I've known him for years so he gives me real good deals and you know so that's why I pick him up but all right well we'll let me put Mr. Joker back and that book right there, that's I got that book from him too. He let me have that book real cheap as well. Uh, so this was one of the books in my box that I have pulled. This is uh, Graveland number three. This is a real nice book right here. This is a cool book. I don't know if anybody's reading. I haven't really seen it in uh, in uh, many people's videos. I like anything you know with guns and type of like military stuff like that. And that is Graveland right there. And I know y'all saw in my other video that from the pool, the uh, from this last week's pool, I told you that one shop they had the they had the Vampirella, and I said that's the Virgin cover. See, here's the here's the regular cover. See, it has Vampirella right here on the side, and the other one that they had they had it on the shelf. The, the, that's like those, those are supposed to be like eight dollars or seven dollars or something like that. But they had it on the shelf, got it for three ninety nine. But this is the one that I had pulled for me in my box already. But like I said, that's not the virgin one. And then uh, that Friday, I went... Excuse me, not Friday. On Thursday, I went to another location because I was looking for this one. A lot of places... Some places didn't order it and some places were sold out quick. Uh, this is the Disney's Pixar Coco. The movie is really good. And this is, this is a real thick book as well. Uh, I read through a little bit, but I haven't read it all yet. I read through about the first four or five pages. It seems pretty good. Um, I'm probably going to take it back out and read it, but I went ahead and bagged it. That is, I should have picked, they had two copies there on the table. I should have picked up both of them, but I didn't. Uh, I said, nah. And got the little black bag from yesterday from the guy that I bought the, these books from. These are some real nice books. Let me show you this one first. This is a one shot right here. I uh, really digged it, and it's from Del Keon. It did the cover, and I saw it. I knew it was him. And this is a one-shot. It's Darkness. 
Darkness and the Incredible Hulk number one. This is a one shot. This book came out in 2004. Um, this is an image uh, product. Uh, let me see. Uh, what else did he tell me about this? Oh yeah, he said there the, the there was three books. There's this one, and I think he said there's two variants. But he said he didn't have the. He said he sold one of the variants uh, last week. But uh, when I saw this one there, I, I said, man, I like that. Look at the hawk, the way the hawk looks, and the way the darkness looks. So I had to pick up that. So I went ahead and picked up that one. Here is another book that I picked up. Look at that. This is weird. I'm, this is Robin number one. This is a chromium cover. And it is signed. It's signed. This one right here, I, I picked it up when I when I was looking through his boxes and I saw it and I was like, hey. And he goes, uh, and he had a lot of 50% uh, off right now. When I grabbed it, I turned it over. I said, what is this? And the guy says, oh, it's the letter. It's this letter of authenticity. The guy who bought this, he actually purchased this from QVC. Because I mean, QVC used to sell baseball cards too and comics and stuff. Uh, this is from, let's see, the date of the purchase was, what's the date of the purchase? Well, that's a, that's a, the, the certificate of authenticity. This is the CEO of, uh, QVC. He's saying that, you know, that they, they witnessed the signature and let's see, it says it hereby certified Robin number one comic, which, Accompanies the document to the personality of Scott, Hannah, and Chuck Dixon. See, there's uh, Chuck Dixon's and there's Scott Hannah's signature right there. Oh, and this is also number 14 of uh, 5,000. And he paid wh uh, whoever the guy, the guy's name, he has his address and everything. The original guy who bought it. Uh, he lived in, where did he, oh, he lived here in Texas, El Paso, Texas. Um, he paid 29 bucks for it, 35, 42, I guess with the shipping. And like I said, it had still had the, the invoice stuff on it. But I thought that was real cool. Robin number one right there. It's signed. And it has the COA with it. And then this one right here. I couldn't pass up on this one. He gave me a good price on this one. I said, yeah, I'll take it. This is the double size 500th issue Amazing Spider-Man. And man, I just love all the artwork. And then especially it's signed by John Romero Jr. And this one also has, let me show you, has it has the letter, has a the COA. It's it's actually kind of like double bag. This is a, the this is the Mylar with the backboard. And when it was shipped, it was shipped in its own bag. And the reason it was shipped in its own bag because it has a signature. There's a letter of authenticity right there this is number 72 i don't know how many it's out of but this is certificate number 72 the reason it's still in the original bag is because they have a steel uh a seal so the the stamp seal whatever you want to call it it's on there this is from uh dynamic forces that's where it's from it's the just the df seal i don't know if you can see it right there it's a df seal so he gave me a real good price on this one so i couldn't pass it up i picked this one up as well he had a bunch of, uh, uh, get that back in there. He had a bunch of graded, uh, CGC books. And, you know, I mean, y'all know me, I'm not really into them, but with the prices he had, I almost picked some up, but I knew, I know, you know, we're in December. I got a couple of birthdays coming up and Christmas is coming up. So I'm like, man, I was about to drop some money. I, you know, I, I dropped a little bit on those three right there. There's not very much, but I did. And like I said, and. And I know next week's pool, it's gonna. I got about about another thirty books to pick up next week, so you know that's another one hundred and fifty, hundred sixty bucks there, something like that. But anyway, um, yeah, like I said in my video, that's what I decided to do. I'm gonna go ahead and do. I'm gonna be, of course, I'm gonna be picking up all the new books still, everything that comes out new, number ones, all the stuff, and of course everything that I still follow. You know, your detective, your Superman, all of that is just a given because I f I follow those. You know. Um, so and like I said, and I'm gonna start uh, picking up some uh, some uh, back issues, some uh, good uh, some good looking back issues. Like I said, from the I'm gonna see maybe next week if I'm when I'm out there again. I'm gonna see if I can pick up another. Uh, I might pick up a graded book because he had a real nice he had a real nice amazing Spider-Man, uh, older one, and then he had a, some Fantastic Fours in there. 
and then he had oh he had one that I really really wanted I think it was like 75 bucks or half price and it was a Jack Kirby and what was the guy's name they, they were the ones who did the cover it was really really nice but like I said I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna start doing that you know I'm not gonna just be having all the all my all uh, all uh, current books um, like I said, that is my small haul right there. That's my 93rd haul, like I said. So, today's Monday, and then two more days I'll be doing another haul. And that'll be, of course, a bigger one because I, all the hopefully all the books, the, no, they won't have no issues with the deliveries. And all the books will be there, plus what else I, what's still in my box. But other than that, guys, thanks for watching. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think about these three books that I picked up. Alrighty, guys. The comic book villain out. Laters.